Uy. Pineapple juice. I purchased the actual Buick branded uh, floor mats. All right, and as we see here, they are lined up, and there's no way that that, that thing is moving, whether you're pressing the brake or the accelerator pedal. stuff you gotta unload. Ugh. Pineapple juice. This stuff can stay in here, I think. Ooh. Can't wait to put that together. There's a cat litter in there. I gotta get it out. the cat litter out. I also need to get some gas. Good lord. Got a lot of stuff in this car, don't I? Get rid of the stuff that's on the ground. Alright, so we're pretty much empty here in the back, off of the floor. Alright, so some of you might be wondering, what the hell are you doing? Why are you cleaning the ground of your car? Well, for one, I haven't done it since I bought the dang thing. Uh, but two, I purchased some floor mats. I purchased the actual Buick branded uh, floor mats, uh, floor liners actually from General Motors. When I bought the car, they gave me like rewards points of about $50. Uh, the other day, I noticed that there was a, hey, buy any Buick accessory for the floor or for your vehicle, 20% off. So I was like, well, 20% off of $270 is a decent amount, plus $50 off. I ended up getting these things for about 140-ish, give or take dollars I think it was kind of a no-brainer I was gonna buy the ones off of Amazon um, but then I saw that whole deal I was like no you know what? I gotta go get it so I ordered it and um, the dealer didn't call because my dealer is not the greatest but they are ready for pickup so we're gonna go ahead and pick them up and throw them in and see how they are All right, we got it here right behind us. As you can see, we're gonna go somewhere and uh, put them in. It's very tight parking here at Mataga View of Games. They do not have a very good setup in terms of if you're just getting something from the parts department or something like that. So, yeah. But this is where I bought the vehicle from. So. All right, we parked, we got our drink. I'm gonna take a swig and then we're gonna you can get these uh, mats installed really quick, hopefully. Talk about thank you for making the Mountain Dew Baja Blast Zero. I will say, the Chevy dealership looks really good in this weather condition. All right. All right, here we go. I need to vacuum this thing. Okay, I'm gonna say that's good enough. Alright, 
So what's cool about these liners is they fit supposedly perfectly. And as you see here, they pretty much do. And they provide really good protection in terms of liquid, dirt. Basically the, the dirt and crap is not gonna get on the carpet. Uh, that's why I wanted these. All right, let's get the ones in the front installed. This is the instructions for the uh, floor mats, not the floor liners. Looks like this is the driver's side. So when it comes to these, you gotta be very careful how you install your driver's side floor mats because Toyota had an issue what, almost a decade ago where their vehicles were not equipped with an automatic cutoff for the brake and the accelerator pedal. And a lot of people died from that. A lot of it stemmed from people installing these heavy duty all weather floor mats. It was installed incorrectly and then it would push down on the accelerator pedal. And because Toyota did not have that cutoff system in place, the vehicle would accelerate, you would press the brake, but the accelerator would be battling against the brake. And unfortunately, the vehicle would lose that battle against the accelerator pedal and people would just drive out of control unless, unless they knew or could think clearly in an emergency situation to put the transmission into neutral. That was pretty much the only way or to turn the vehicle off and people died. So it's very important that you utilize these locks here and that will ensure that the, um, the, the floor mat stays in place. And that's also kind of why it might be important to get the actual manufacturer floor mats to make sure that it is uh, built correctly. All right, let's go ahead and install this. Ow. New strategy. Okay, so I already know with this vacuum, I'm not going to get every little thing. I just want to clean it up a little bit. So let's go ahead and install this. And then you just line it up. Alright, and as we see here, they are lined up and there's no way that, that that thing is moving whether you're pressing the brake or the accelerator pedal. And this one, because it doesn't have to worry about moving, this one does not have the, um, the taps. Alrighty, that's pretty much it. We have installed the new floor liners for the 2024 Buick and Vista, the actual Buick floor liners. Once again, um, I do find it, I do find it a little lame that the back floor mats do not have the Buick uh, logo on it, but it is what it is. But as you see, they fit very nicely. Yeah. And with that, we are done. We put the box in there so uh, I can close. Alrighty, and with that, that was the picking up and installation of the official Buick floor liners here in the 2024 Buick and Vista. So far, so good. I hope they live up to the name. Alrighty, and with that, it looks like I actually uh, cut myself or split something open. I'm gonna go home and wash my hands. And with that, catch you all on the flip.